Hi everyone, this is Florence from the French channel Miss Florence and today I'm going to show you one of my new tarot decks which is a self-published creation that was created by Celia Melesville or Celia Melville and this is called the Lily White Tarot. So this is the white version of this tarot because she created two decks with the same design but different techniques. So one is white made with watercolor and the other one is black with uh, black paper and pencils or pen I don't know how to say it. crayons maybe yeah and I chose to buy the white versions which is called the lily white tarot the black version is called the lily black tarot and um, I also bought the little book so this is sold separately and I guess you won't be very interested in the book because it is written in French but if you buy the tarot deck separately this is completely possible and you have a little cheat um, cheat paper with um, the keywords for each major arcana and for the suits so this is very handy and this is not very big but if you already use Toro this should be enough for you so everything was really well wrapped into gift paper with a little flower and a little branch and a little sticker that says thank you there is also her little business card. So that's it, Celia Melesville. So here you have the website. I'm going to spell it for you www.celiamelesville.com. And if you want to buy the deck, you can only order the deck from her website. So the deck itself is a bit expensive because it costs 55 euros but if you take several decks I think you get a bargain of a few euros. Uh, then uh, the box is like this. It's a very nice box. You have some very beautiful gilded inserts on the box as you can see and this is silky and matte and it looks really really nice and sturdy and then there is the back of the box which is very nice so it says there find your way the world is in you the world is yours and the copy of the deck is numbered and signed by the artist so I got the copy number 196 out of 1000 so there are 1,000 white decks and 1,000 black decks. Then if we open the box, there is a little ribbon inside in order to pull the cards out without damaging the cards. And that's quite handy even, even if they come out very well. Then I'm going to show you the cards. So the back is really gorgeous. It's gilded as you can see. And the finish is matte and silky. The quality of the cardstock is amazing. It's a very, very nice quality. The edge is white, but it's not a problem for me as the back is white also. If you want to buy the black version, the sides are black so it matches re really really well. I'm going to show you the major arcanas and then I will move on to the suits. So we've got the Fool, sorry, the Magician. You can see the little symbols of the suits tattooed on his fingers. Then the High Priestess, so you have the number of the card which is at the top and you don't have names nor, nor edges so you can really enjoy the, the picture and that's really really nice. 
Then you've got the Empress. The Emperor. Sorry. The Hierophant. So the only thing I don't really like about this deck is that there is the copyright here. And as this is the white version, it stands out a bit more than on the black version. But I understand that the, the artists have to, to copyright their work, so say so it will be okay. The Lovers. The Chariot. And then the strength is not in the 8th position as in the rider, it's in the 11th position. So the justice is in 8, like in the Marseille. Then we've got the hermit. The wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. The strength. So strength is in position 11. And this card is very interesting. Then we continue with the hanged man. No. Yes. The hangman. And then death. So even though you have a work done with watercolor, you can have a real intensity in, in some cards such as this one. And you also have all the delicacy of the watercolor work. So that's why I really like the white version. Then we've got Temperance. The Devil. The Tower. The Star. And, and what happened? The star, the moon, the sun. So most of the time I don't really like the sun card, but this one is really nice. And there aren't any creepy children on this one. And then, oops, where is the rest of the major? Yeah, you've got judgment. And the world. And here you've got the the hands of the magicians. So this card echoes the magician card and that's very clever and really beautiful. Then we move on to the suit of pentacles. So we've got the ace. So here we are in between the Marseille and the Rider Waite in terms of style and the Minor Arcana. The Two of Pentacles, so you've got the suit symbol at the top and the number but you don't have the name. I say we are in between the Tarot of Marseille and the Rider Waite because it's not fully illustrated like in the Rider Waite but you, you still have some clues like the hammer and the tools, the triangle for example. So you can pull some information from the card a bit more easily than with the Marseille. The four, so here the snake is the animal related to the suit of pentacles. We continue with the five, the six, the seven, the gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous eight of pentacles, seven, uh, no, sorry, nine. <laughs> And Ten of Pentacles. 
then we've got the court cards so we've got children for the pages uh teenagers for the knights and then a man for a uh, man for the king and woman for the queen so here that's the page of pentacles so in terms of symbols at the top we have a little heart because there is the elemental sign that is drawn on the heart chakras for the for the pages then we've got a little sun at the top for the night because the symbol is on the plex solar plexus chakra and we've got teenagers then we've got the queen the queens are really beautiful in this deck and the king good then we continue with the swords so here the colors were in the blue uh, in the green and brown and earthy colors with the suit of air and sword we have some blue and some yellow and the animal is the eagle that's the ace the two three four five six seven eight nine and ten ten of swords then we've got the court cards page knight the beautiful queen and the king i think the king is really king of swords it looks very serious i hope you can see properly because the weather outside is so bad here and we move to the suit of cups so we've got the ace so here we're going to be in the blues and pink colors and the animal is the fish two of cups three four five six of cups this one is beautiful seven eight nine gorgeous Ten of Cups and the court cards, the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. And we're going to finish with the beautiful suit of wands sorry <laughs> the ace of wands I'm sorry because it's really dark out there and I can't show you properly two three with foxes in the suit of wands four five six seven eight nine ten of wands 
and then the court cards so the page the knight the beautiful queen of wands I think this is my favorite and the king of wands yes so as you can see I really like it because we have very different colors for each suit so we have some green and earthy colors for the suit of pentacles we have some light blue and green yellow for the air for the swords we have some deep blue and red for the suit of cups a bit of pink as well and we have some red and browns and orange vibrant colors for the wands so I really like it and I think the illustrations are really gorgeous this is a very well done tarot deck the quality is just amazing and and this is a very nice person as well she's got a French channel on YouTube and she's amazing so I really hope you enjoyed this presentation of the Lily White Tarot um, I won't be able to show you the Lily Black because uh, I couldn't afford to buy the two versions but both look really amazing so I really invite you to check on her website to have a look at the black version also if you like thank you a lot for watching if you want you can subscribe to my channel because I will post other videos in English thank you have a very nice day bye bye